Hi, this is Maxi, and I'd like to introduce you to the tire inflation system, inflation deflation. And what we have here is our display board, which basically monitors the pressure, the temperature of the tires, and basically the pressure throughout the system. Uh, you can manually, it's really, you can manually control your pressure, and you can inflate or deflate uh, pressure on the system. We have three buttons here. One is for choosing the terrain that you'll be traveling on. One is for the weather condition, which also the center button, which also controls the backlight. So at night you can dim the light down if you want. Uh, the third one basically is your highway, what type of road you're actually traveling on. Okay, so, the unit's powered up by wiring it to the system of the truck where we have 24, 12 volts rather, supplied uh, continuously when the key switch is on so when the key switch is off then it shuts off the power there all right and how the power and the power the power is actually ran from underneath the dashboard into the, the underneath the cab inside the engine compartment okay it comes out of out of the engine compartment runs along underneath the uh, cab of the truck all the way back to the manifold on the, on the truck. Okay, we have our airline supply here that we tapped into for the air to the unit. Okay, which is off of the main compressor of the of the truck. Okay, on the other side here, we'll walk around to the other side where we actually have our manifold. So back here, manifold. Okay, which control which is the brains of the unit. All right, we have cables. Uh, underneath which each sensor or each sensor tire that would sensor each uh, would monitor each tire Okay, we have all our airlines that also go to each tire uh, The way it's powered we actually ran the power cord underneath the cab here and alongside the railing of the truck and come out inside the uh, Cab unit inside the near the driver which we have a monitor on the dashboard Okay. And here is our inflation system in the visual some folks call it the bat wings when I'm out there on the road Basically what we have here is we have airlines that are being supplying air directly to the tire from a hub unit here which all again is controlled from the brain so we got air coming through the pipe here inside the cup cap here yeah. on the hub unit here which is also again the brain of the air system which supplies air to each individual tire so if you have a problem with one tire the system will identify that one tire and only that one tire will be affected. So if you have a blowout tire or just a flat tire, the system will let you know. And it also monitors the temperature on that tire, okay? Our framework, basically, we mounted three bolts to the frame here of the tractor where we drilled no holes. Everything is all just basically pre-manufactured. So to fit the truck, it, uh, customized. And it's, now as far as changing the tire, if we actually had a flat, we basically would start here, we remove the nut, okay, pull off the uh, cable, like, wrench, 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 ah. In order to change the tire, the first thing we do is take the nut off here, okay, show you real quick. Pull the cap off, we unplug the power, we take off, you'll need a 9 16 wrench here, we'll remove the nut here, we'll just screw it off, pull the hose down. Then we come over here, we take off the two little nuts here, 5 16 Take these guys off. Okay, like so. This will give us access to be able to... We'll sit that to the side. One more. Okay. We loosen up the holding unit here that holds up the wings. Slide it to the right. Now your wing will flip up. That allow you to work on this one tire only. Once you have the hose here disconnected, you'll just wiggle this bar back and forth, pull it towards you, and it'll go straight up and out of the way. And you'll just take your tire off. When you put it all back together, you put it back in reverse. Arm will be down. You'll put your hose back on, connect it, bring your bat wings down, and get your cup, your holder there, put it on the back, pop it through the holes, put your screws on, tighten them down.
down. That's it. Reconnect, get power. It has a half moon shape, so you can't go wrong with plugging it back in. Take your cable, just basically tuck it inside. Put your cap back on. Screw it down. Okay. And connect your wings. And you're back on the road.